I don't know if I'm different from all of your other interviews, but I always wanted to go to Texas Tech. I, I grew up, for the most part, in Lubbock. I was a Red Raider. I remember my first game at Jones Stadium, and I just a place I always wanted to be. I just never really considered any other school. But I met a lot of a lot of great people. Had a lot of great instructors. I remember Bob Benson that was in the college at that time, and he was very instrumental in, in kind of developing me. I got to do some great internships there. I got to work a little bit at the uh, University Daily and at the at the KTXD, the radio station, didn't work there all the time, but just dabbled in it enough to know that media was something I wanted to do. Well, he's just an outstanding person. He uh, he's very creative. He's uh, he's uh, someone that follows through. He's a person of the highest level of integrity. He uh, again, I think, motivates the people that work for him. So he exudes uh, the range of qualities that I think are reflective of a great leader. And we had a production company, and I had a relationship with the Red Raider Club. And so we started producing weekly uh, highlight videos for their donors. Tech played in College Station. This was in 2001. And uh, they won 48-47 to in overtime. And really, the, the people called it the greatest game no one ever saw because it wasn't on television. Different time then. And, and so I told uh, Steve Urias at the Red Raider Club after the game, I said, we should sell this game. So Monday morning, we decided to start selling it on VHS tape. And we sold probably about 4,000 copies of that game. And so I spent the night, several nights in front of, we had 20 duplicators. It, it recorded in real time, an hour and a half, because you cut out all the commercials and everything and cut out the time in between plays. And just slept and set my alarm clock to wake up every hour and 30 minutes, take out the tapes, put the, the 20 in, and fulfilled all those orders. And it changed our entire business. We did all the games the next year. It just changed the whole scope of what we were doing. I was really, really stressed and kind of tired and wondering where I was headed a little bit. And I had a guy here in town, a build attorney on. I was talking to him, and he said, hey, you should call Ken Hans. I sent a Chancellor Hans an email. I figured he'd never get it, but now I know he reads his emails. I said, I'd like 15 minutes of your time just to run some things by you. And he emailed me back almost immediately and said, send me your resume, and I'll give you 30. So I said, okay. And he set up an appointment. I went and met with him. And at the end of the meeting, he said, you know, I don't have anything right now, but I think by the end of the summer, I might have something. Well, he's a hard worker, but I think he's best quality. He's got good judgment. And I think, the, in, especially in media relations, you want people that can size things up and put out statements and that do it in such a way that gets across exactly what you're trying to say. He said, come talk to so-and-so. And I'd come up and talk to him. So I kept thinking, I kept telling my wife, I think I'm going to get hired, but I'm not really sure. And then finally, at late July, he hired me. And really, it was one of those things, when you look back, it changed the entire trajectory of my career, of what I was doing and where I was headed. I couldn't have done any of the things that I've done since then if it hadn't been for Chancellor Hand. So I'll always appreciate that from him. I think that Texas Tech people are just different, I think, and different in a good way. I think really solid Texas Tech people, they work harder, they understand the value of things. Robert cares. Robert is sincerely passionate and loves Texas Tech University. I think you would be hard pressed to find anybody in the past few years that has had more of a profound impact on the external operations of this entire university. You know, I couldn't be here where I am today, couldn't be sitting in this chair today, in this office, overlooking my, the Jones Stadium where I sit right now, if it weren't for Texas Tech. And, and so I think that, I think they've taught, it's taught me gratitude, it's taught me to try to give back, because it, it's, Texas Tech means everything to me.